Hi, Amelia, and thank you so much for coming on to help us with a case study about the GP services and how you guys have used that as a family. So, um, honestly, thank you so much. Appreciate it. My pleasure. <laughs> Perfect. So, how did you find Cover My Bubble first? So, um, how did you find us? So, through uh, Lauren. Honest was mom. it Lauren? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I love that. Everybody that I've spoken to about yeah. this, it's all been Lauren. So, yeah. we love I, it a bit. I was pregnant at the time, and I think mm. she'd mentioned about the bump cover. And it wasn't mm. anything I'd ever thought about, not even obviously bump cover because that's not a usual thing, but life insurance in general. And then I thought, actually, if we're having a baby, we should we should probably mm. get it up. Amazing. So, I remember you contacting me, actually. How long ago was that? So that was... I think we've oh been covered just over two years now. No way. Has yeah. it actually been that long? Yeah. Oh, my word. That is mad. That is, it just goes too quick. It's just weird. It I does. just love that. I'm still in contact with you guys. We're yeah. still chit chatting, and it's just nice to have that. So we'll see your journey. If you know what I mean? It's yeah, nice. Definitely. It's good. No, yeah. Really <laughs> Brilliant. Nice. So we're just going to talk about the GP services then today. So obviously you've had this free with your life insurance, your critical illness, and the children's cover as well. Um, so your daughter's covered on that policy. Um, so what made you use the GP services? Were you struggling with one 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 or um your GP so uh, your G GP surgery um so yeah it was it was for Ella I use it for Ella yep. um so it was actually a Saturday um she mm. woke up and and she thought she had an eye infection um yeah. so obviously with it being a Saturday and her she was under two at the time so I couldn't take her to the pharmacy because they wouldn't give me drops over the counter no. I thought oh I'll just I'll get an appointment on there so really easy went on booked it on my phone um, and I was working that day actually, so I booked it for when I knew I'd be on my dinner hour. Oh. Um, the GP ran me, I'd sent a few pictures of her eyes, and it was really quick straight away. She was just like, Yeah, I can see, it looks like there's an infection. Um, she sent the prescription through that came through within about five minutes, and then I actually went during my dinner hour down to Boots, collected it, and yeah, when I came home, she had the drops, and it was easy as that, really. Wow, I love that. That it is just everyone that I've spoken to is just because I always love feedback. So I'm always asking you guys, right? How did it go? How did you find it? So it's okay. nice to see then that. So it was a Saturday. You're the first person that's had it on a Saturday that I've heard so yeah. far. Um, so with the prescription, obviously the GP services and the mental health side is free. But you have to pay sometimes for the prescription. So it can either be free, uh, depending on the medication, or up to £15. So how much was it for you at the time? I think I did pay about £15. Was yours um, 15 yes. Which she did say if I'd have gone to buy it over the counter, it would have probably been about that much anyway. Right. Obviously, if I'd have got it through the NHS, with it being elevated, it had been free. But I, it, I needed it. I wanted it. I wasn't leaving it over the weekend because it was quite bad mm. I was happy to more than happy to pay that oh good so you're yeah. the most that somebody's actually paid for it but like you say when it's a Saturday and you've had that um, appointment with a registered GP you've had that reassurance and the medication so you're having it two days sooner than what you could do as well yeah, so absolutely. I think I'd be the same to be honest I yeah. would be the same especially with and, it being her eyes it's just not worth it's not worth leaving it is it it's no I think we worry so much, don't we, when the children, you just think, oh, my God, is it is it going to be okay? And, yeah, eyes is a no-no, isn't it? No, absolutely. Oh, <laughs> oh, bless her. So how did you find the GP appointments? So obviously, it was quick to um, book it, but how did you find the actual GP? So... <laughs> Yeah, she was. Yeah, she was lovely. She was. She was really thorough. Went through lots of questions. Not, I. I think I've told you before. I can have quite yeah. a few issues with our GP, and the, the, the can be. Yeah. Whoever we speak to can be quite dismissive. And it was just mm. to speak to somebody that was, yeah, listened to me instead of just going off and saying, "I think it's this. I think it's that." Um. Oh. And yeah. No, she was lovely, and she straight away was like yeah I can see from the pictures that's what it looks like I'll send it through no worries and yeah it was oh. nice to speak to somebody who listened to me rather than I know the, the professional but to have them listen to what I thought like my worries it was nice oh, that's it you need that reassurance as well don't you and sometimes I know from some GPs you can be like you're in and out you're in and out and that's it and they want to yeah. as quickly as possible they're not actually listening to you and, and as a mum you just worry so much about your children and you know the NHS is fantastic obviously they yeah. do so much amazing stuff but there is some occasions when 
we are struggling with our surgeries or 111 and and this is when we need the reassurance isn't yeah. it when especially when it's so tiny yeah oh bless her yeah. where I'm... was she from <laughs> sorry with um 111 how busy it is at the moment i have i think i've used it a couple of times for Ella where 111 have basically sent us a message back saying we're going to have to close your case oh yes yeah I remember that you so, did actually oh yeah, so I've used them again there but so it's just so nice to know that I've literally got it on my phone and I can just get the appointment because every time I've gone on whether it be like a last minute appointment I need or something later on in the week there's always something available so it's really yeah. cool. Oh, that's really good to hear. I'd actually forgot about that. I remember you sending me the um, the screenshot yeah. to actually show me that 111 had cancelled your callback request, wasn't yeah. it? So I think it was something at the time to do with maybe a breathing and a cough, which is obviously something yeah. that I don't really want to, to leave. Um, but you obviously want to get that call or reassurance from a doctor as well without taking up a space at A&E or urgent care or whatever before before you, you take that step don't you so it's nice yeah, to definitely speak to somebody before um, we... bless you and it's good that you can upload photos as well and put like a description of everything of how they've been before you actually speak to the doctor so yeah. that's a good another little added benefit no gosh I forgot about that fucking yeah. heck so so would you like recommend the service then obviously you, you, you're happy with it but would you recommend that to somebody else to look into to make sure you have the GP yeah. services. I've told a few of my friends about it because, as you know, a lot of people get have issues with getting appointments and stuff, and I've just said, look, we've got this. Um, and it's really good. It's, it's so worth having. It's 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 a bit of a weight off your shoulders when you you get into a bit of a panic, thinking, oh, we can't get an appointment. And then you think, oh, no, we can because we can use yeah. it. So, yeah, definitely, 100% recommend. I forgot about it. I, I was couldn't get into the GP for at least two weeks and really worried about something. So I was like, I need to book in to go. Um, but then I forgot about the app. So how bad is that, that I'm actually doing this job <laughs> and telling you guys? And I totally forgot. And then I thought, oh, yeah, but I booked in straight away. And they yeah. give me loads of tips of going back to my GP to be seen and sent for tests and stuff, which were good. But the right, I liked the reassuring side of it, really. They were really good like that. So yeah. um, I love yeah. that. No, well... Thank you so much for obviously sharing this with me today. You know what I'm like. I love feedback. So keep on giving it to me. Keep on tagging me in things. It's good because we can at least keep on raising awareness together about the GP services. And um, yeah, I really, really appreciate it. So thank you, Amelia. No, and um, you guys yeah. have been brilliant. Thank you. Oh, thank you, love.